Today, we're all doing some bag throws out here. Both athletes getting ready for the Arnold Pro, Aaron and Lucas. And also, almost more importantly, we've got our North American amateur national champion, Dylan Fuckface Thompson out here to show him how it's done. Master of bags. Master of bags. Now, funny enough, Dylan would probably beat all the pros besides Thor at this at this event. So uh, maybe uh, Jan Todd will watch this and send you, throw you a bone. It's fucked up. Give me record breakers. <laughs> really, Give me happened? record breakers. We have to put this weights in first. Okay. If you do small weight and really shake it, it might be okay. But anyway, you like throwing, don't you? I love throwing. I like throwing? Bags. Ba bags. People. 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 Okay. <laughs> Coaches. But today, Aaron and Lucas are both working at 15 to 16 feet with comp weight. Dylan's gonna jump on in and probably smoke it with both arms. And maybe we'll go up a little higher for him, it'll be a little fun. But yeah, it's on the menu today. How you feeling, bud? Um, like... I'm good. Um, I'm very tired today. Very tired? Um, but I'm excited for today. Yeah. Bag throws have actually been really fun. Um, anyone that's been following along, you know that we've been doing bags twice a week. It's a pretty low fatigue activity and trying to figure out a new skill. So yeah. we're throwing bags twice. Um, so we're back to our heavier bag for a day, and then we have heavy squats, speed deadlifts, and dinnies. <laughs> Ooh, that is full. Cool. It's a nice B-roll, the boys filling up the bag. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually really interesting. Like, around this room, like just regular training partners, you have a two-time World's Strongest Woman, you have a national champion, you have a five-time national champion, and what should be a two-weight two -way class pro. Six. Six-time, pardon me. Six. How many times did you win America's Strongest Man? Three in a row. Three in a row, no big deal. <laughs> and then there's Lucas Hatton. He's all right. This <laughs> Yeah, and this can No, it's really cool. There's no other gym on the planet with this many pros and national champions all training together which makes this place kind of cool. Zach, are you going to join us for some throws today? Oh I may be. Maybe. I should it this so morning, funny. Yeah, but uh, how are you going to pass uh, up on double hand, with all these athletes? What? Double hand throws, is that what you're doing this morning? We'll see, we'll see. I mean, oh, I like to change not? it up. Okay, all right, cool. I like to change it up. He's a man of mystery. God, that's He's heavy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not promising for me. If he yeah. says it's heavy, it's fucking heavy. Yeah, yeah. He's getting something. He's weightlifters. He's going on his lifters, yeah. Okay. That's so heavy. I know. <laughs> oh, it was ours. I'm like, don't throw that one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll oh, do. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Nice. That was good. Nice. Is that your cop yeah. So two more there, then we'll go to 16, okay. get three there. All right, so we're working with some new sandbags today. We got the GORUCK loadable kettlebells because um, we think it's going to be a little bit closer to the implement that we'll be using at the show. A little bit smaller, so it's feeling nice. Um, that was my first rep with contest weight today. I think we're all working with contest weight. Mine's about 28 pounds. I think the boys are at 56. And the goal for all of us is to be throwing over 15 to 16 feet. So if that was 15 feet, it felt great. Smaller implement felt great. And I switched to my lifters, which also is helping me with my heels popping yeah. up on the backswing. So I was noticing that happening a little bit. So um, good change there. That first first throw felt A plus. Um, so we're gonna do one or two more throws here at 15 feet, and then we'll start bringing it up. Come on, you got it now. Nice. Uh, that's like, ooh, yeah. that's like 16, 16 and a half almost. Good. Yeah, that's up there. Come on, buddy. You got it now, come on. Firm plant, jump bar. Let's go, kid. That's it. Yeah. There you go, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Right. like it's not. Yeah, there's nice. two more of those. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, go for it. Really well, that was Damien's feedback. He's like, <coughs> when he walked, watched last week, he's like, his opinion is much like the only so better, better, right? Better. better. Okay, so we got quite a few good throws there. Um, I think we had three successful throws and one miss with the Go Ruck bag. We also did a couple throws, same weight, but with the Cerberus like original throwing sandbag. Um, just because we don't know what the handle is going to feel like, we want to be prepared for everything. That bag is harder for me because it is bigger and bulkier. So we did a couple throws there. We're going to bring the bar up to 16 feet now, go back to the Go Ruck bag. And I think the goal is two more singles there at 16 feet. 
Walmart. Let's go to pump. Nice. There you go. I like this one. Come on, Lucas. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so much better. Yeah, height difference? Yeah, I just needed to. Yeah. All right, what are notes and takeaways for yourself on bags? Uh, it's easier when you do it right. <laughs> no, I, I just have a tendency to really rip. Uh, like, it's a bad habit from my, I did it when I threw hammer, I did it when I was new at throwing sandbags double hand. When it gets heavier, I send it to my shoulders farther back because that feels like I'm counterbalancing the weight when I really just need to stand tall and trust it. Um, and then when I sit tall and trust it, I cleared by a lot. So just do it right. Yep. Sick. All right, everyone's squatting today. So, um, <laughs> Everybody got squat. So same protocols we had on deadlifts last week. We're working up to 90% for two. So our top set of the day is going to be 390 for two, I believe. Um, so we're starting off getting to our first set. We're still we're already pretty warmed up, so we're not gonna do a whole lot of sets here. Same with the deadlifts, we're just gonna ramp up quick. Doubles starting at 185 for this first set. I think we've got five sets building until we hit that last set at 390. It feels slow, but positions are good. Uh, it doesn't look slow. What I would say is out of the hole, be sure to use your upper back as much as you can. Okay. Right? Because you're losing slow. Okay. All right. Five sets down, one to go. Our last double here, we're going up to 390. This will be the last set of the day. Um, having a little bit of that same left low back hip pain that I was having a while ago that was popping up on my heavy deadlifts last week. Um, kind of the same note as last week. Uh, the volume thankfully is low, so I think should be fine for this, this last set of squats, but just being really intentional about positions and bracing um, and bar path more so than speed. So I'm not super concerned with moving it quickly, um, more just really honing in and focusing on making sure the movement itself looks smooth and good and my body stays in, in the right positions um, just to make sure that everything stays feeling healthy and safe and efficient. So one more set here, 390 for two, let's go. All right, bud. You boys want a spot or someone? I don't remember, seventh or eighth, I don't remember. Just two, just do double. Don't one another? No, I dragged. Just keep that upper back active, Aaron. Uh -oh. Good. Active upper back, bud. Just very good, yeah, good. Just good job, very easy. 
Oh, that's good. That was good. He doesn't know you don't tuck your chin. I don't tuck my chin. You don't tuck your chin. I don't recommend it either. That's okay. <laughs> what do you think? That was good. It was fast. I mean, that's 90%, right? Which you probably could have done that for five if I put a gun to your head, which means that's not near 90%. And that's good. All right, that actually felt pretty not bad. Um, my back does hurt a little, but it is what it is. Um, we'll live. Uh, moving on to deadlifts. Uh, speed deadlifts today. So Lucas has heavy pulls. I have speed pulls. Um, the problem with getting stronger though is that percentage work also gets heavier. So I saw that I had a 10 singles or a 10 by one EMOM at 70% today. And my first thought was like, that's going to be easy. But 70% um, is 385, which doesn't feel right. Um, Cause that sounds heavy to me, but it's, it's not, it shouldn't be. Um, so we have 10 singles, 385. Ideally wanting it to look like speed work. We'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna email him that um, and cheer Lucas on as he goes for something heavy. I'm not sure what he's hitting yet, but let's go find out. I am, other side, I am, I got doubles. So this is probably the last, the last week of like building up the strength base. So just up to a heavy double at 90%, which I think is like 760, 780. And then I think everything from here is gonna be um, clusters. We like to build, do that building into like max reps. So it'll be one or two, maybe three sessions of cluster deads after this. So yeah, we'll see. I got fired from doing all 10. So this, so this, this might be my last one. Same as our top weight from last week. So it's about 90 to 92% of comp weight. Last week I was not able to complete the turn and hold at the end though. So we're gonna do the same weight again, try to actually finish and make it better. Gotta get great. Focus on the goal, not the hands. You can do it. Focus on your goal.
Good work. How are we feeling, bud? <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel super bad. That's hard. But I imagine that's about how locking those out five events in is going to feel. So, yeah. Back down, now. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so good day. We're about done. You have some accessories. Overall, super happy with everything. I'm just pissed off now because my hands hurt. And that event always puts me in a bad mood. So um, I will leave it at that. I'm going to go finish out my accessories. I think I have some legs and some abs. Um, but should be done soon. So another accessory day tomorrow, I believe. So I won't, see if you, I won't see you guys for that one. But we'll be back on Friday for the long event day again.